Mheshimiwa Murkomen na anapokuja tulipata shida kidogo kwa watoto wetu wa kule Ainapkoi Moi Primary School walipata shida kidogo eh, candidates na tukapoteza watoto tano tunapotokea kila laheri watoto wa class A na class 6 pia tunasema tuwasaidie hawa tuwaombe na Mungu awasaidie karibu waziri Murkomen Waziri ya barabara <laughs> Um Mheshimiwa Rais Mheshimiwa Mama wa Taifa uh, Bishop wetu uh, wa Kenya mzima na wa hapa viongozi wenzangu na wa Kristo wote Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe Asante sana Mheshimiwa Rais yangu itakuwa machache Ya kwanza Ningependa kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ametuwezesha tuunganike hapa kushukuru na kanisa kwa miaka 40. Kwa kweli mimi ni mmoja ya wale washiriki ambayo hii kanisa inakava kwa nyumbani kwa Elgeyo Marakwet County pamoja na wasingisho hii sisi wote tuko katika coverage ya this kanisa. Na Bishop Ruto amefanya kazi kubwa uh, Anglika nilichelewa kukuja huko So nimeona imepita Imefika chibiemi tinaendelea kusonga In a short while Tapatikana huko embo buta Ijafika embo but bado Na iyo ni kazi ya evangelism Number two Minataka kushukuru Bishop Sapit Ile ujumbe Hameubiri leo Ni ujumbe It's a real someone You know sometimes your excellency we go to churches And the preacher anabadilisha salmon kwa sababu president ako area anaanza kuhubiri kuhusu kutoa anawacha ile salmon alikuwa amejipanga anaanza kutuzungusha kabisa aseme leo mtoe wote hata wewe unajua lakini <laughs> leo bishop ali stick to the salmon he had planned na he read my most favorite passage in the old testament actually it is always imprinted in my mind uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6 Ikisema kwamba eh, Kwa nyumbani It used to be uh, Nikiwa mtoto mdogo It used to be my father's favorite Because he used to insist Alikuwa analazmi, anasema Hakuna siku tutalala kwa hii nyumba Pila tusome na magisoman Alafu Lazima tuombe Alafu anaenda Deuteronomy chapter 6 Ya kwamba tembea na neno la mungu Fungia mkono Fungia kwa roho Weka kwa face, fungia kwa gate. And I, I wanted to chip in up Okidogo to Bishop. The most important institution in the church, in my opinion, kwa sababu nilikuwa mwanafunzi, mwanafunzi na pia mwalimu wa Sunday school. Institution ya maana zaidi kwa kanisa should be the Sunday school. Should be the Sunday school. Because ata nikika hapa, your excellency, ata uwezo ya kuongelesha watu. Nilifunzo kwa Sunday school. Yeah, ukipewa ile memory verse ni Sunday school. Upewa nafasi to present as kid ni Sunday school. That is how the growth of a country can be able to go forward. Sometimes tunaitwa fuarambe. Tuchangie kanisa. Lakini tunambiwa. Unaona kanisa ni kubwa. Wanasema ile ya zamani ile ya matope huko. Tulibadlisha ikakuwa Sunday school. Sasa kanisa inyewe sisi wa kanisa tumeenda ile kubwa. Na wale wa maana zaidi ni wale tungeanzia kwa thawabu ni watoto. I want in your next 40 years, uh, uh, Bishop, we come and celebrate the growth of the children ministry. Because that is where foundation ya ukristo iko na foundation ya leadership. Sisi, mimi kama mtoto ya pastor na mwalimu wa Sunday school before, I believe in Sunday school and I believe future ya Sunday school is very important. Your Excellency umeambiwa, Tuko na challenges kidogo ya kikazi. Na wewe, eh, mungu walikuchagua this time. I will only leave you with a verse in Joshua 1.9. Uh, it says, be strong and courageous. Um, Ata misu juu kusema kwa kingaresa. I only know ile ya Sunday school. Ya Joshua genge kwa isoko. <laughs> Tos maane na kiangati. Kimitu wa genyika ni to missing. And may we ishi ana ni top top Omimita Jova kamukto ende mungo poten, engu itugululiwendi. 
So, Your Excellency, Joshua 19 remains, uh, you are chosen. Actually, challenges, you do not choose challenges. Challenges, challenges. So that you can be able to lift those challenges and take our country to the next level. Kwa upande ya barabara, wewe umenipatia kazi, barabara na transport, tunakazana, na unajua hii kazi ni kazi yako. Kama inge kwa your guidance and leadership, atunge make progress yenye tumemeka. Thank you, Your Excellency. Within one year, sasa tumesongesha kazi kwa maali fulani, eh, county zetu za hii region, aswa kulikuwa na shida baringo hapo kidogo, ya contractor wenye walikuwa koikoi, uliniambia fukuza hawa, kulikuwa na makosa kidogo ya contractor hapa nandi wa, eh, kwa barabara mbili nikafukuza hawa sasa tumetangaza tayari kandarasi na tukaongeza barabara ile walikuwa wanapewa na ile contract ya kwanza tukaongezea kidogo ndio ikava ile shida walikuwa nayo for a long time na we will deliver on time wewe rais umeshinishikilia kwa hii kazi ni ngumu nikienda mkutano mahali unaona wajumbe wana wika wana nini Anasema kipchumba, ongeza hapa, ongeza hapa. Wewe mwenyewe ulikuwa na wa viongozi wa dunia na marafiki zetu. Na ile program umesukuma, I know in another two, three months, hao watu wataona jembe na bulldozers wakisunguka kwa barabara, na mimi nitasunguka kwa kikisha kwamba kazi hiyo imetendeka. Mwishimua Rais Asante pia kwa, kwa sababu na to support kwa ministry yetu, hii airport yetu ya Eldoret. Eh, kwa miaka mingi imekuwa ni airport ya transport ya kushuka na kutoka na sasa inalete mzigo inalete tu mzigo ya eh, spare parts na kuleta maneno ya eh, mitumba lakini inarudi empty ndege inarudi empty sasa kwa vile wewe ulinipatia instructions tuko sasa kwa a very good stage to enhance the runway by 500 meters ifike 4 kilometers I love sasa your excellency uh, governors wenye wako hapa na MPs wacha tuwaombe tusukume our farmers wapande ile mimea especially horticulture yenye ndege ikifika hapa inatoka Eldoret direct ikipeleka Europe na inji za inji ile safari mnaona kwa gazeti and I have been with the president ile safari yote kutoka Korea China, Europe rais wetu amekuwa kienda kufungua masoko ya agriculture it's our responsibility now hapa nyumbani to diversify ile maneno tunapanda ili tuwezi tukabeba hizi eh, eh, mimea kutoka hapa ifike soko and your excellency from the transport side we are going to help in two ways one the airport to be expanded two tuna, tumeweka mpango ya cool logistics kwa railway ndio sasa ukibeba your avocados kutoka hapa Na wewe ume lead kwa example, nilipitia shamba yako leo asubuhi ni mwana ufakado yako imeshikashika. Uh, utatipatia na fasi pia tutumia kama visiting place tunajifunza, tupande pande kidogo, tuweke cool logistics ifikishe iyo mimea ifike market. Ya mwisho, ingependa kusema ya kwamba tutashikana pamoja, tutapeleka uh, uh, hii county yetu, ana country region hii yetu pamoja na Kenya mzima and we depend on you and your support. We thank you your excellency for all the support. We thank the church for the work we are doing together and God bless you Asante sana. Thank you. Asante sana waziri with us again.